Welcome guys. Welcome guys. So in this video, uh, we are trying to uh, quickly introduce the Levis Vita connection. Well, probably this is most uh, uh, mostly uh, widely used in uh, Riemannian geometry and uh, general relativity. Okay, so uh, now there are many many ways to describe it, right? But in this video, I want to uh, use some uh, use somehow a rigorous way to say that why why we use uh, why we use this one. Okay. Uh, so I mean, if you are from a physics background, right, then uh, you might easily, if you learn some general relativity, then you may easily say peop uh, see people talking about uh, uh, talking about this uh, formula. Basically, this is the uh, standard uh, Christoffel symbol. Then the people, then sometimes you you heard you will hear people say that this gamma k i j Christoffel symbol comes from the Vita connections, but you don't know why. So basically, our settings that uh, we have made for M and uh, there's a metric G and uh, so the G I J D X I D X J. Okay, so this is the starting point. Then the then the you can do s and the people will tell you that oh this is connection and uh, usually uh, you can derive this one by if you do the variation and uh, try to show the geodesic equations. To be this one, so you can go uh go to my other videos and uh, see uh how people how uh, I can derive this gamma is k in this form, right? But actually, in that video, we didn't we 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 compute geodesic equations, but we didn't uh give more uh give more reason why uh we care about this gamma k i j k uh, gamma k i j. Okay, and also this symbol you can see the online uh the the undergrad geometry like uh if you have a three dimensional manifold, a uh, two dimensional uh surface in the R three, then the crystal bell symbol shown as the derivative of the local the second derivative of the local coordinate. Okay, but now uh, in this video uh, I will prove the the fact that why we use the vis vita connections. Okay, so the reason is that uh, okay, so that a fine connections, right? A fine connection. So what is the connection? So the quickly say that the convection, a connection is the right. You have a manifold M, right? So at each point you can uh, there is a tangent, a uh, tangent space, right? There is a tangent space at here. So con uh collect all of the tangent space will form the so called tangent bundle. Okay, so the connection should be defined as uh, there's a this delta. Oh, sorry, this this is triangle, and uh, this this uh, this can be put at x and y, and the x and y y are just vector field on M. So you can view the vector field basically is a section of the tangent bundle. So if you are very uh, very mathematics, then you can say oh vector field just the section of gamma of the tangent bundle. Uh, okay. But basically, at each point, you just assign a tangent. You just assign assign a tangent vector, right? So that's the fancy way. Okay, so gamma x y will create another vector field. And basically, you need to satisfy some properties. Of uh, so this is a standard connections, and uh, so affine connections uh, need to have. Uh, the uh, this connection is called the vis vita if it satisfies the, the two properties. The vis vita. The first one is that uh, uh, it's metric preserving. So if you use the connection x on g, then it will be zero. So g is a metric tensor. Okay. So. Uh. So one. Uh. One. Question that people commonly ask is that uh, we only define the connection on the vector field, right? But not on the uh, the second rank symmetric tensor. But actually, if you can define the connection on the vector field, then you can easily just use linearity to define on this gij. Okay. So <laughs> actually, this is the 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 very I mean very fancy in the differential geometry that you only define your operator on a vector field, but uh, you can easily translate it into uh, the different kind of tensor. Okay. Also, it's a uh, torsion-free. 
Uh, so what do we, we mean by portion free? It's basically here is x, y, x. Right? If you minus this, then you become x, y. So what is this commutator mean, right? So you locally you can write x into x i partial i. So partial i is you can use differential operator or basically just local local coordinates. And at least x i are the function of the local variable. So y is just y j partial j. So if you view as a differential operator, then uh, you can compute this x, y. OK, so you need to satisfy these two properties are called the uh, affine connections. OK, so the fact. OK, so let's come to the fact. The fact is that uh, the Levis Vita connection are unique and exist. Uh, it's unique and it's it and it exists. Okay. So basically, it means that uh, if you somebody give you mg, then exist. The only Levis Vita connections, and uh, then then we already know the answer, right? The answer is that uh, it basically it is the Christoffel symbol. Uh, what we just write. Okay. So let's uh, proof. Let's proof. Okay. So uh, the proof is also easy. Okay. So. Right, suppose that we have a, a connection satisfy the its properties, the metric preserving. Let me just write down the words. Metric preserving and the torsion free. Then the first thing is that uh, right, so let's create a local coordinates for this tangent space. At least we have partial one, partial two, partial three. Okay, so uh, up to partial n. So partial j means that partial, 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 uh, partial, partial x, uh, x j. Okay, then I define Christoffel symbol to be part to be j. So j means I put partial j as uh, the first coordinate, and the working on the partial k will be gamma j k i partial. Uh, let's say l. l. Okay, so uh, this is just the expansion of linear of the coordinate, right? So basically, this uh, this one will give you another vector field, and the vector field local is the a uh, lo vector field is just a section of tangent tangent space, right? Uh, the tangent bundle, so you can be written as this ga uh, gamma matrix as this expanding coordinate as this. Okay, so let's work on this. So let's say x is just xi partial i, and the y is uh, yj partial j. So let's work on this one. So this one will give us that uh, xj partial, also xj partial j. Oh, sorry, I use jj here. And uh, k k here, k k here. Okay, so this one is basically partial x j, x j partial x j, uh, y k partial k. Okay, and then this one can be computed as a. Uh, right, so you can pull out the first coordinates by the property of the connections. Y k partial k. So this is just x j. Uh, the lab needs rule y k partial k y k delta j partial k. Okay. Okay, and uh, this is x j partial j y k just preserve, and this term change into a, a lovely uh, l uh, right this l right, and uh, you can you see this l is like the dummy variable. Okay, so actually you can you this k k are done. So actually I can change k into l. Right, and pull out this partial l. Okay, pull out this partial l. Right, so we get this. Okay, so now we have a formula. Okay, so the first one uh, I we we can say is that. Uh, this partial j y at the l directions will res a result will be partial j y l plus gamma l j k y k. Right, basically if you I if I let all of x to be to be one. Okay, so we get this. Okay, so right if you, you if you check the, the x and y direct right so so remember this right this is the torsion free torsion free connection. So that means if if I choose x to be partial i, right, and y to be partial k, then calculus tells us that uh, 
the second derivative is a second derivative is uh, a second derivative is exchangeable if the function is smooth, right? So that means we get the uh, i k will be the same as k uh, i. So it tell us that uh, uh, if you write an, uh, write an as the the pre uh, sorry actually i k. I tell us that the uh, i k l will equal to l i k. So you, the first, actually, the torsion free tells us that the uh, gamma is symmetric under the these two indices. Okay, so now that means we already use one condition. Okay, so I de derive from here. Okay, and the second condition is that the uh, torsion free. I uh, sorry, it's the metric uh, metric preserving. So let's go to the second conditions. So first condition is just tell us the, that okay. So that's just, just, uh, what we're writing about. Write down. So this is the first condition. It's basically the gamma is symmetric under these two. Okay. So the metric preserving means that the partial i g j k, right, will be uh same as the u that g become uh this one. Right, so this G I J remember is defined to be G partial I partial J. So G is like a symmetric tensor, right? And the the delta I act on metric from delta G means zero means that the uh, it act only survive as sur the if you act this delta G right, then it will act linearly on each term each component, and the final it will combine to this. So there's no other terms will survive, right? Only becomes like so. This delta G looks like the oh uh, the the pure derivative. Okay, so from this we get the partial i g j k equals to right. This is gamma i j right. So it's gamma i j l g l k plus gamma j i l g l k. Uh, let's say it's correct. So this is gamma i k l. So sorry, so it's GJL and LIK. Sorry about this. Let me just make it clear. Okay, so GJL, GLK. Okay. So we have these three uh, these equations. The first uh, this is the equation. This equation that the called partial I G J K. Uh, G L K gamma L I J plus G J L gamma L I K. Hmm. Okay. And the gamma satisfy the property that the uh, torsion free so gamma L I J is equals to gamma L J I. So the conditions is these two. Okay. So now that means we can solve this G I J. Oh, sorry. We can solve this gamma, right? Hopefully. Okay. So let's take the uh, J G I K. So it's very uh very annoying. So it's very uh, you need to you need to think uh, very carefully. So J, okay. So let's say J. So we change J I K right right. So let's see. Uh, is there a trick that we can easily write down? So this first term should be. Uh, let's see. Right. So that means we change I to J, J to I. Okay. So maybe let's. Maybe let's do it slowly. Let's just quickly see where we can compute. Okay, so this is the first equation that i j k will be i j will be here, and the uh, i k j here, right? So. Okay, so let's. Uh, let's be compute G J uh, K I, okay. So the first term will be L, let's say L, and the let's first two terms right J K, and the G uh, this is L K right L K, so L K uh, right so it's L and uh, 
that's the only I I can be put here because the index uh, uh, need to match right? and then the second turn will be the same L L and the take on the first turn K and the IJ right but we don't care right because it's just IJ and also the second, third turns that the partial kg ij will be l l uh, that's k i j plus g comma uh, l l uh, so this is i k right so it's become k j okay so Let's take the first two, add the first two, and the minus the third. Okay, but actually, I since I I I know the answer, so I can just do this. I just plus use the first two terms, and the minus the third. Okay, so you see this one, then I we will get uh, this L I K term. Right? This L I K term will be will vanish by these two. And. Uh, this term will vanish. Okay, so final result will be two G L K comma L I J. Okay, so that's uh, also you can cancel because this is symmetric, right? So you can flip these two. Okay, now finally we just ties this G K L and change it. So finally you get L J K. Uh, we can times like uh let's say we can type gks so we can type the gks All right so this uh the left hand side becomes uh sl uh let's say right right, right. become this one so uh, take a half partial k g i j okay and the l will be change it change it to change its form so you get gamma s i j becomes a half g k s partial i g k partial j g k i minus partial k g i j okay now you can change this you can change this uh, K change K and S, and you can see this is exactly the original form, which is very very far from away, which is exactly uh, this one. Okay, so this means that the metric, the metric preserving and the torsion free, the torsion free conditions, will give us the unique, will give us the unique connections. Called the uh, Levis-Vita. Okay, so that's for today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.